Oh, hey, sorry, I, uh, I didn't see you there. Um, but now that I have you here, why don't, uh, I show you the new video I've been working on. Hello, everyone, this is Nick here again at NJ's Bricks, and today we're gonna do a second, uh, version of a video I did a little while back. We're gonna check out another Bricks Max light kit. We're gonna plug it into the set here. We're gonna show you off some pictures and videos of what it looks like and give you my thoughts on the product. The first time around we did the light kit for the A-frame cabin and while it was really fiddly and difficult for me to install, the end result looks excellent and I was pleased overall uh, with the result given the work that I had to put into installing it. We're gonna try a second one here today. We're doing the Sanderson Cottage. Uh, the witches from Hocus Pocus. So this should look pretty cool with some of the, you know, bubbling cauldrons and things of that nature. Uh, if we enjoy the process enough and the result here, I'm going to move on to start adding some light kits into my Lego City, which you saw a while back. Most of those, if not all those modular buildings, have light kit versions from Bricks Max or another similar competitor. And it'd be cool to find a way to install a light kit for one of these buildings into my custom modular building as well. Uh, with all that being said, please like and subscribe below if you enjoy the content. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. I'll probably show you uh, a little bit of the building process, the install process. Then I'll show you some pictures and videos and give you my thoughts on the LEGO Bricks Max Light Kit for the Hocus Pocus set.
you have it. That was the installation of the Bricks Max light kit for the Lego Sanderson Cottage set here based on Hocus Pocus. And I got to tell you, I really do not enjoy installing these things. Similarly to why I don't love building Technic sets, all of the tiny fiddly pieces can really do a number on you and get very tedious over a longer installation or build but I will say the end results still look really great. One of my larger complaints with these sets, as you can see in this picture here, it's harder for me to hide the wires than they make it look in the instructions. I really don't know how they're tucking these wires away in certain spots and not having them more exposed. I always, at least in the two sets that I've put together for the Bricks Max light kits, had a number of exposed cables. However, that doesn't really detract from the overall aura or vibe of the lights. They do make the sets look really cool. I love the candles and the chandelier in here. However tedious they were to put together, the end result is still quite impressive. One of my only other real complaints with these Bricks Max kits are the instructions can be somewhat ambiguous at times. It's not always totally clear which pieces you are supposed to have removed or added in a given picture. It'll just show you a photo of what it should look like with a little symbol that says that you've like added some bricks that you previously removed, but you can't always tell exactly what those pieces are. You can see some video here. I love the way the candlelights actually dim and glow. You can see a detailed look here at those. Very cool, very accurate, and adds a lot to the vibe and the aura of the set. But yeah, it can be kind of ambiguous in the instructions at times to see what you're supposed to have installed or uninstalled. And that's probably the number one biggest improvement that I think Bricks Max could make is a bit more clarity to their instructions. And that would make it easier for you to get the install done. But it does look great on the cottage here. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel below. Watch one of these videos and I'll see you next video.